I understand the immunity part, but that doesn't change the fact that you couldn't go that you couldn't go to Houston and confiscate that championship trophy. That you literally sit there and say the 2017 World Series, there is no champion. It doesn't mean that the Dodgers should get it or the Yankees should get it, uh, but. The Astros clearly should not be recognized as champions in 2017. I'm not going to go as far as Dan Orlovsky went on Get Up by saying they should be banned from postseason for three years. But one year wouldn't bother me. I wouldn't mind them being banned from the postseason this year, this year as an organization. You've got to send a message that this is some intolerable stuff. They cheated. They should not be recognized as champions. Even an asterisk in the record book, something at the very least. That's not enough. An asterisk is not enough for me. They should be, their championship trophy should be confiscated from their facilities. Every every player on that team, Max, should have to give their ring back. Every one of them. They cheated to win a championship. And it shouldn't happen. Your... Your logic and passion on this issue is starting to win me over, in fact. And I'm a Yankees fan, so I've been trying to be reserved in terms of my judgment. But you make a very good case. Um, But let me ask you something as far as what Molly's point is concerned. Asterix versus taking it back. Should Barry Bonds, Mark McGuire, Sammy Sosa have asterix, or should they not be recognized at all? They should have asterix. They're individual players. Okay, well, I don't it see the it real was, difference here. What, what, they what, cheated. Hold, hold, hold. They, let, let me they answer your cheated. question. I want to answer they, your question. Yeah. They're individuals. There's yeah. eight other players or 23 other players on the team who weren't doing what they were doing or, or clearly wasn't as effective in doing what they were doing. And as a result, you can look at their uh, well. individual actions and condemn the individual. The point of this with the Astros is you're talking about something that was systemic within the entire organization. A GM has been fired. A manager has well. been fired. A former bench coach who became a manager was fired. A former player who became a manager was fired. Why? Because collective they were in on this. So because of that reality, as an organization, if we found somebody on the Astros cheated, but a whole bunch of people weren't doing that, that would be a different argument. But what the NFMLB has I, said to I us understand is that, that there's been a collective effort here. I understand that. But in the case of the people who cheated Roger Maris out of his status as the home run champ in a single season, and I'm referring to Bonds, McGuire, and Sosa, and I find the tripling of forehead size and, and 30 pounds of lean muscle put on in a summer more compelling evidence, even if it's not, even if it's circumstantial, but it's mm-hmm. physical evidence, more compelling than a receipt from Balco, to tell you the truth. And you're not saying take away those records. And in that case, each one of those guys represents a team, you know, because they made choices that, and they have ill gotten goods. So that's number one. Number two, Manfred, I understand what you're saying about granting immunity, but this is how they do it like with organized crime. You frequently, the button men, the soldiers who actually carry out the crimes are granted immunity in exchange for testimony, right? And because you're really looking for the bosses, because we assume that those are the people um, on the top who have control and are most culpable. And in this case, Jim Crane, fired, well, maybe Jim Crane is the answer, like maybe that's where it's starts, but that. Jim Go Crane ahead. fired the GM and the manager, and, in, and B, Stephen A, we complain so, lo- so much about how long the NFL takes to do things. Oftentimes, Mm -hmm. when you go quickly, you sacrifice certain things. They wanted a quick resolution. They wanted to get to the truth. They did a good job of getting pretty close to the truth quickly and meeting out punishment. Well, well, here's where I disagree with you. First of all, on a couple of things, when you bring up the law and how in criminal cases folks are granted immunity, okay? Well, baseball has taught us that the laws governing our nation doesn't necessarily apply to them because when you think about the lifetime ban that Pete Rose had has received, we've got murderers, rapists, and everything else going on in our society that ultimately come away from being incarcerated. Ultimately, they've been granted freedom. So obviously, with Pete Rose, that's something that that isn't applicable. Then we get into what you just said about the team itself. Let's understand something here, Max. Again, we're talking about a collective effort that was put forth by the Houston Astros where a manager, a general manager, has gone down. You've got players that have been implicated. The Yankees, 
the Bronx Bombers scored one run in three games and zero runs in game seven against the Astros. I find that to be incredibly and beat compelling the evidence. Off how, the about, how, how about the yeah. how about the Dodgers yeah. with their stout pitching staff and over the course of a couple of games okay. in Houston gave up 18 runs, 26 hits, 16 uh, six home runs. These are the kind of things that Stephen suffice a. as compelling evidence. And all I'm saying is you gotta suffer. Listen, if you're okay, not look. taking that money away from them, Max. You got to take something. You letting them keep their money and they're not suspended. Look, look, this, sometimes, this sometimes happens. Punishment is meted out. You from the mm -hmm. beginning said it wasn't enough. But people like me who thought, okay, that was pretty well handled. More stuff comes out in the aftermath and you go, wait a minute, can we go back and tack some stuff on? Let me tell you why I'm feeling that way right now. Jim Crane's talking about he didn't think it it affected the outcome of the game. I like Jim Crane as an owner. I think he did a lot of good things. Um, but whether or not he was aware of this stuff, let's set that aside for a second. He has to shut all the way up about not affecting the outcome. Duh, it affected the outcome. Why would you do it if it wasn't going to affect the outcome? And Carlos Correa is another one. Everyone loves Carlos Correa. He's a great player. He seems to be, you know, accepting responsibility. But when it comes to defending his teammates, he has to shut all the way up, too. Are you joking, Carlos Correa? You're talking about Altuve didn't steal the MVP for judge, from Judge in 17? Let me explain something. When you steal signs, and it's, and, it's, and it's systemic, right? When there's systemic cheating in your organization, and clearly you're doing that for an advantage or you wouldn't be doing it, risking everything, you have no right to come out and say, no, it didn't affect things. No, it didn't make us better. Yes, we would have won the World Series anyway. Shame on you, or have you no shame? So Jim Crane's comments, Carlos Correa's comments have, have me incensed about the whole thing. I don't know if that means you can go back and further punish them. They yes, got you can. to a speedy decision. Maybe you it was most certainly too hasty. can. Maybe you it was most too hasty can. by look, granting look, immunity. Max, Max, what's stopping it? What is stopping the commissioner from going back yeah. other than his own feelings? It's not like if he went back, somebody could do something about it. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.